Negative 270 is the same as growth deviant, a positive 90. And that means we are going counterclockwise. And some of you, if you are not listing your points when you do these, from the second picture going counterclockwise, this is how we are getting this third picture. And as many points as you list, it's going to make it a little better. Now, do you need to list all of them? Do you need to list? Yeah, do you need the arrows? Like maybe you write down, this is your A prime, and then this is your A double prime, and by listing those points on the side, sometimes it helps. Some of you it helps, some of you not so much. Okay, so this was our third picture. And then it says take and reflect that. So we got you up here, no overlapping. This was the fourth picture. And then it got smaller with the dilation. Now, I am not gonna say totally redo that if you got it wrong. But you do wanna make sure that as you do like the first two things, I turn and look at the back before you do the whole thing. Like, if you did these two right and then you started to do this one and your picture ended up on top here, that might be the red flag of, oh, I rotated it the wrong way as you are looking at that. Okay? Jack. What's your question? Question. Oh, yeah. Uh, one eighty degree and negative one eighty degree the same. I know it wasn't in here, but it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I want to start with our notes so that we can get, there's not a lot of notes. Um, so, I will have um, a few more flashcards because today's notes are really so, helpful for you to so, make one or two, and I will also put up on Quizlet. The ones that I had from before on what's a transformation or the translation. So today, the whole thing for the next two days until we take our two bigger courses Thursday and Friday is just combining all those. There's not going to be a single thing. There's going to have a combination. So as we look at H7, combinations of our transformation, y changes to x negative y. If I am looking at reflecting it over the y axis, remember the y axis is our vertical line. The x axis is our horizontal line, okay? So when we go over that horizontal line, the y changes to the opposite. When we go over the y-axis, x comma y, please write this in your notes, x comma y changes to negative x, y. Two seventy. Two seventy is the same as what? Negative ninety. And negative 90 is always telling us to go clockwise. Positive 90 is counterclockwise. Okay? We want to put our rule down for those. X comma Y. When I see that it's going clockwise, or clockwise, if we are going to write the rule, we are going to write it as x comma y, ordered pair, changes, switch the order, and again, if we are looking at this one, back here we didn't finish this one, which way should my arrow point? If I'm going to go clockwise, please put this arrow over the top. And if I'm going counterclockwise, right on the top of this, please put an arrow going in this direction. So when we are looking at this, I think it's sitting on the floor. If you just look, it was there earlier. I don't know. You'll have to grab one back here. Where? And it becomes y negative x. In this one, our arrow is pointing towards our new x coordinate, which was our y before, becomes negative y comma x. Yesterday's quiz, even with the two things up on the board, some of you switched it just the opposite than what it said. Um, so we'll be getting those back today. When we do the 180, what is the rule? x comma y, please write down changes to, just, you should be in your notes, changes to opposite x opposite y. 
but please make sure you put each one of these if I was looking at the notation that you put the notation for each of these if we are looking at it as ordered pairs okay now in class I have some flashcards and one recommendation I have is you might write the word 90 degree rotation on the front and you might put this on the back so you might want to keep flashcards or I had some people write the different rotations and put all of this like on one side to use it as something that kind of so I have everything in one place okay when we look at me, when we look at the translations the translations what you want to keep in mind is that we are always looking at x comma y and it changes to and if you are going up it is x plus whatever the number is and if you go down it is x minus whatever that number happens to be if you look at the y coordinate of it if you don't go up or down that's why we left our y today the same but if you are going excuse me this shouldn't be up and down right this should be left and right so let's change that erase that this should be to the right and this one should be to the left and when y goes up we are going to add the b whatever number that happens to be and when y goes down we are going to subtract the b so that's why they kind of have it written this way now again i have had some people put all of this from this page on a flashcard and they show all of this and they put it they put the trans the reflections on the top and then they do the translations i have had some people do the rotations like i said they might put 90 degree rotation and put clockwise making that your positive making this one the negative and then on the back they put what the rule is so that they kind of learn the rule because on the test when we take our quiz on this you won't have these and i probably won't have this up on the board so you're going to want to make sure you understand which one is which so that you practice them well. so i will be putting those on the daily plan so now we are looking at this problem and i'll hand out flashcards later if you think you want them i don't want to hand them out if you're not going to use them so it says reflect the line segment over the y-axis then translate so reflecting it over the y-axis we should get our new point b prime over the y-axis so please write b prime it should be one unit away because b was one unit away then we're going to look at a which was three units away and so now a prime if we are looking at that will also be three units away so we got to count that three units away and we get a prime we are going to connect those two and you might want to use your workbook to connect it with a nice straight line so that you use the edge of your workbook and we are connecting that the next thing we are asked to do is to now translate <coughs> if you are looking at this rule chase what would you tell us this translate is telling us to do what so three to the right and down one so if we are looking at our picture we are going to take each of our coordinates one two three to the right down one this is where our new point b double prime is again our a is three to the right and down one now we did all of these without listing the ordered pairs at all and that's okay as you're looking at those but sometimes listing those ordered pairs is helpful for you especially when you have to do rotation so it says how do the figures compare and this is when you do your homework you're going to be asked this question on most of them how do these figures compare to the original is it congruent same size same shape or is it similar or it's a different size and same shape and ours should be congruent when we take our bigger quiz i am going to ask you about their orientation of our final figure and it's a little harder to say with the line but here we were going from a to b when we did this reflection we were going so the first one we went clockwise this one is counterclockwise this is also so if we are looking at our orientation if we compare the final one to the original we would say they switch orientation 
meaning that it was clockwise to start with. And in our final picture, it is counterclockwise. So CCW stands for that counterclockwise. We don't have many more that we are looking at. So in this one, it says to rotate 180. Please do that right now, and then we're going to look at that scale factor of two. Now, sometimes when you do this rotation of 180, if this is at maybe even writing the point on x foot zero one, this d point was at two, three, and e is at three, zero. So even if you want to write the points next to them, or some of you like writing these down here, put the D, the E, the F, so that you can see what those points are. 180 changes them both to the opposite, right? So if I am looking for my mean points, Timothy, do you want to start us off with where F should be? F prime? Zero comma negative one. So F prime is going to be zero comma negative one. Yesterday's quiz, some of you were asked to list the points. Some of you listed all your points correctly in your graph. When you are graphing, this zero is telling us do not move left or right for that order pair. Move down to one. So zero, negative one. This is our point F prime. Okay. Logan, we want to do E prime. Zero negative three. Careful. We're not going to switch the order. So this negative was at three zero. 3 0, so it should be negative three, zero. negative 3 0, which is telling us before we went to the right 3, now we're just going to go to the left 3, and we are at D prime. Okay. Caden, if we are looking at D prime. Um, okay, so when we look, at our rule, and so if you're looking at this page, 180, they both are going to change to the opposite. So, Hayden, when you looked at it, it was 2, 3, they both have to become opposites. King on J for good position. So it should be negative 2 and negative 3. So negative 2 and down to negative 3. So we are now at drawing that triangle, which it should look like. If we were doing that, that's the same as multiplying by negative one, right? So if we would have done a row the, uh, when they were talking about our um, dilations, a dilation of a negative one is the same as 180 degree turn. We are not done because we have to do scale factor two. So the reason it's nice writing down the points is that now once I have them written, I might want to change and write down my D double prime, which if I am looking at Kyle, when I multiply it by 2, <coughs> what this is saying. XY scale factor means you're going to get 2X, 2Y. So I'm looking at this D prime, which is negative 2, negative 3, and I need a scale factor 2 change, which makes it what? Negative 2, right? Oh. Negative what? Negative 4 and negative 6. We're multiplying both of these two numbers times 2. So we're now at negative 4, right, negative 4, and down to negative 6. That is our new point for D prime. D double prime. If I am looking, Sophia, at E double prime, negative 6, 0. So way out down here at negative 6, 0. Okay? Cassidy, if I'm looking at F, Zero and negative three. And now we want to answer the questions that they were asking. And you're going to see these questions on each of yours as you're doing your homework, asking you to compare them. And on Friday's quiz, you'll see these same type of questions. So when we now draw our shape, So making use of your probably workbook to make nice straight lines <coughs> if you don't have a straight edge. It says, how, does the, how does the original <coughs> compare to the image? And when they talk about the image, they're talking about this last picture. Congruent or similar? Similar. Should be similar. Keeping the reason 
If I asked you the reason it is similar, because we had a dilation, right? Our dilation makes it similar because it makes it bigger. K equals T with that. Twice as big, same shape. Orientation. If we go from D to E to F, right, we are going clockwise. If I go here from D to E to F, here from D prime, E prime, F prime, did my orientation switch? No. 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 I'm going clockwise, I'm going clockwise, I'm going clockwise. No. Compare the orientation to the original, it is the same orientation, right? Question you. Uh, so our last test we have test until it's number down. Um, you will have to decide. I usually won't ask you, I'll just look for the picture. Like yesterday's quiz, I asked for those. Um, on today's quiz, um, let's see, on today's quiz, I think I do not ask you to write it down, I just ask you to draw it. So, your homework is just many parts. I mean, each one has you doing, this is your original picture, then you have to rotate, then you have to reflect, then you have to, that one has three pictures, three figures. Some of them get to four. I know they get ugly. And here's the deal. If you are doing this assignment, start by doing every other one so that you get it done. Okay? Start with doing every other one when you're doing your assignment. But 